Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you from EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how to place text that will mask other elements. Textiles can create a masking effect for text by using the background screen color for both the fill and the outline of the text. Let's begin. From the Element pull-down menu, I'm going to select Element Textiles. In the Textiles dialog box, I want to create a new text style. I'm going to name this Mask Text and then going to save it. Just some general settings I want to get going here. I want to choose my font. For this example I'm going to be using Arial Black. The height and the width I'm going to set up using Annotation Scale. So I'm going to set my height to 0.1 and lock it so the width is the same. Justification will be center center. Spacing, I want to set my spacing to half my text height so it will be 0.5 there. Then I want to go to my background tab. This is what allows me to do the masking. There's a fill color and an outline color. The fill color is, you can see here, I selected the green and then I also selected the outline for red. But what we really want to do is set it to the background screen color, the little letter B in the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to set both the fill and the outline to background screen color. I can increase the uh, offset by setting that to the 0.5 or being half the height and then save that new text style. Now I'm going to go to my drawing task and place some text here. I'm going to use that new text style from my tool settings window. I'm going to choose mask text and then I'm going to place the text in the text editor window here. I'm going to call this highway 12 and then I'm placing method by origin here so I'm going to place this in a design file and as I zoom in here you can see that it's already masking the elements that are behind it so that background screen color is matching it so I can move it around and it will keep masking the elements from behind. Now I'm going to continue here and place some more annotations. I want to place some contour labels in here. The first contour label I'm going to place using above element which will allow me to place the text and have it rotate automatically. However, I am in a 3D design file, so the text was actually placed at a different elevation than um, the 800. It's actually placed at 600 in elevation. So what I want to do is move this to uh, above 800. So I want to use a AccuDraw placement here, and I'm going to place it at an absolute elevation. So I'm just using the number sign, comma, number sign, comma, 1000. So it goes to an absolute value of 1000, which puts it above the contour. So now it's masking that line. Another way of labeling contours with this would be uh, placing it by origin, but using AccuDraw to rotate your compass. So I'm going to tentative snap into the contour. Type in O to place my origin for AccuDraw there. And then do a RQ for rotate quick and rotate my compass in the alignment of the contour and then I can place uh, place the number on the contour. One more time on that RQ, so I'm going to type in 804 by origin, tentative snap into the contour, O to place the origin, RQ to rotate quick, rotate into the contour, and then place the label. That concludes our tip of using text masking so you get the elements clipped behind text. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.